reading a book today with my friend Tiggy. Say hello, Tiggy. Hello. So I am going to be reading. Look before you leap. It's a fox and a goat. The book cover looks like this. Look before you leap. Are you ready to listen? This is how it looks. Once upon a time, in a forest, a fox was chased by a pack of wild dogs. The fox ran for his life, but in his rush to escape the dogs, he fell into a well. Look, he's like running at、ah, the wild dog, and he fell in this well. And they're like, I I thought I could eat him. It says the dogs barked at the fox angrily for a long time from outside the well. Eventually, giving up, they decided to leave. Look at this one. He looks so cunning. This one is so cunning. Oh, it's a Dalmatian. Fox. He has his claws trying to climb up with his claws. The well was not very deep and did not have much water in it, so the fox neither drowned nor suffered any serious injuries. Thank God! Thank God I'm safe," he said. Now I. Now I just have to figure out a way to escape from this well. Look at! I should save my energy and wait for the right moment instead of trying myself out. The fox decided and waited. Patience was finally rewarded when an old goat came strolling near the well and saw the fox. At this old goat, he's like, "Ooh, what's this fox doing here? Let's see what the old goat will do next." Oh my God! What fox is doing? He's just drinking the well water. <gasps> What are you doing inside the well, Mr. Fox? The goat asked curiously. Shh! Don't disturb me. The fox replied. But at least tell me what you are doing. The goat asked. Again, now all the more, all the more curious to get an answer. Uh, nothing. I'm just drinking the sweet water from this well. It is so refreshing that it tastes like ne- nectar. The clever fox replied, "I'm so thirsty." The goat ate. Claimed. The fox is definitely lying. I read this book before, and he's lying. Why? He's thinking the water tastes like nectar. And the water tastes like nectar. How does water taste like nectar? Nothing. All water tastes the same. Not all water, but yucky water does not. Ew. Let's see what this cunning fox is up to now. Is like this. Look at the fox. Well, let me tell you, my friend. The fox replied, "You won't find water as sweet as this anywhere in the entire forest. That is why I spend a lot of my time inside this well." He is lying. He didn't spend the time in this well. He was just waiting patiently to get an answer. How can he get out of this well? He's not spending time on this well. What really? The goat said.
peeping into the well. The only way to find out is to jump in the taste. In and taste. The sweet water, my friend, the fox, urged his water as to be tasted and not wasted. He's going to fall for it. Please don't fall for it. He fell for it. He just fell. And the fox just jumped on his back and ran up the well. <laughs> the goat needed no further urging and jumped straight into the well. The minute the goat jumped in, the fox stepped on the goat's back and quickly jumped out of the well. Now the silly goat was trapped inside the well. Mr. Fox, where are, where are you going? The goat asked worriedly. Home, sweet home, the fox replied happily. Why is the fox such a jerk? So here's the last face. Mr. Fox, this is not sweet. It tastes like normal water, the goat complained. I've got some advice for you before I leave, Mr. Goat. The clever fox replied from now from now on, think before you act and look before you leap. Goodbye. So I am going to and now what what do you think about this story? Don't believe people think before you act. Don't just like, oh, I'm going to do it anyway because he says so. You don't just do it. That's silly. And you know, this is a moral story. He's blindly believed he just fell. Look, look at his face. He's like, oh, I'm proud. Please get me out. Please. I beg you. And he's like running away. I mean, he's like, look, please. Yep. Please. He's dirty just like it. Even sweet. Does it taste like Does it taste like nectar? Do you like my channel or not? Leave a comment down below. Did you like this book? Leave a comment down below. So next time I'm going to read you with a new book. Bye-bye.